anything in particular you want to make? I have some. I have a couple. Um. Well, so we did Disney Princess into omelet. So I guess we'll say it's my turn, right? Yeah, because we did eggs. All right. So I did have an idea. So I remember you were showing off. Uh, like when I was showing off, I had the idea for the reality chip. But a car that I think that would be a little bit more interesting for me to play around with would be Vega the Watcher, the Owl Boy. Which basically is whenever you play a cast a spell anywhere from your hand, you draw a card. And having the rally chip in there seems really good because it's just like another auto include in the deck just to make it that much more consistent. So what are we naming? Um, Owl City. Because he's an owl. I see what you did there. And what is it called? So Vega the Watcher. There he is, right up on top. There he be. So yeah, you just the the cool thing I like about him is that you get a lot of benefits from playing cards that uh either have like flashback or or any of the things that let you cast from your graveyard, a future site, um uh Mag Magus of the Future. Mission briefing. And a uh, precognition field is a random one that kind of exists for decks like this. Are you gonna play a lot of instances of sorceries? Probably. Okay. But I guess it depends. So like. Well, precognition has to be in or sorceries, but I mean, it doesn't stop us from not playing the other things. But having stuff with like either foretell, jumpstart, flashback, uh, disturbed is also a uh, outside of the uh, the hand. So then, like, do you do you want to play like Doomscar or something? Uh, maybe not Doomscar because it does hurt our, our hurt us. So that what's the counterspell? The uh, saw it card. Um, Saw, saw it coming. Spectral Deluge is kind of cool. That's the uh, the bounce one. But that one, depending on our land uh, base, it may not be as good. What about... Uh... What about Alrin's Epiphany? I could do that. Uh, also, this, is, this would be a random time where actually we get to play Monk class, and it may not be terrible. This is the thing that bounces something, right? Uh, it, it bounces, also... costs one less, and it's ultimate. It, it, when it's at its final, it's at the beginning of your upkeep. You exile the top card uh, of your library for as long as it's made exiled. You may cast this card from exile long, as long as you cast cast another spell this turn. So it kind of lets you play two, uh, like just lets you another spell to play, and it basically re refills and recycles itself depending on what else we play. Um, uh. Malevolent Her Hermit, I like in this because when you disturb, you do disturb, you do cast from graveyard. Uh, good suspend cards too. So inevitable betrayal is kind of nifty. Um, is that the draw one? No, that's the king. That's it. Will search. It's a uh, bribery on a suspend. Because there's there's a there's like one that lets you draw cards, right? And then it resuspends itself every turn. Yeah, yeah. What is that one called? Um, that's a sorcery, I believe, right? I think I think so. Oh, ancestral visions. Don't forget that one. We get yeah, we get to run run that one. No, not recall visions. I know. Get out I, of here. I I got I got the vision already. I don't I I know which one you're talking about too. I just can't think of it. Um uh, Animatu's augury is really cool. No, it's not that. But I know which one you're talking about because there was a few of them that resuspended themselves from the new one. Yeah, this this is it. Inspiring refrain. So that, that's every two, every three turns you get to draw three cards. Doesn't seem terrible. 
and then what what were you saying um shit what was i saying uh oh uh animatu's augury that's the you exile top eight of your library you may oh, play yeah. a land and for each non-land type you get to cast it without paying its mana cost so potentially potentially play like three or four cards and then draw three or four cards Uh, it, there, it's uh, Aminatu. It's the uh, Planeswalker. There we go. There it is. Yep. So, of course, this is probably going to need to be a Thought Vessel kind of deck. God, I tempted so fast. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're so used to it. Uh,. Deep Anal and Chemister's Insight. Chemister's Insight needs a, a funny name, too. Maybe you just call it Breaking Bad, because, you know, it's a Chemistry's Insight. Mm. And you... uh... Oh, uh, isn't Divine there, Reckoning. Isn't, isn't Think Twice just good for you? Oh, yeah, because, yeah, because it's the flashback. But um, Divine Reckoning, let's go. It's going to ru ruin everybody's time. Oh, yeah. That card. Uh, oh, Soul Talisman. Let's go. Let's get the... Oh, I need... oh what was that thing called? How is this... Uh... How does this work with uh You're still casting it from your hand. Cause you're still casting it. Vega's looking for outside of the hand. Right. Oh still what was it called? Uh oh, forceful denial. There it is. It's the cascade counter spell. Terrible card, but we're gonna run it for the lulls. A five mana counter spell. There's like a colorless creatures that there's a colorless creature that just cascades. Oh, the Atrop? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, do so you we have to run Dovin's Veto, which is like one of my favorite favorite counter spells. Now. <sighs> So uh, Jacob uh, Hawken was the, the guy that flips into the cast the, your cards from exile and he draws. He is kind of cool. I feel like sometimes it could miss real bad. But yeah, my problem with him is we're... it's only your turn. Y yeah, not only that, like it, once he, since he's he just like it's the same reason why I don't like is it chemistry is because it's not putting a named counter on something. So like even if you have the chance to get him again. It, it's a new permanent, so, like, you have to get lucky with him. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, I think this might be an approach to the second sun deck. Because we're probably just going to play the long control grindy game until we hit approach to the sun. So probably just want, like, a lot of, like, good, like, global removal for things. Probably Shark Typhoon. Without destroying our own things, I like co cosmic intervention because that's that suspend. Let's suspend uh, Are you foretell. Sure you, you sure you don't want to try like a like a doomscar or something? I guess. I feel like doom doomscar is like if you have to board wipe, like you get to draw a card off of it at least. And the cool thing is, is if we reconfigure the rally ship, it's not a creature. So when it falls off. Uh, if we're gonna play like a ton of instances and sorceries, then we we play Archmage Emeritus. Uh, solve the equation, because I think we just want to be able to find approach. Oh, mystical retreat. No, wait, we can't play that, right? Is that got red? Hold on. Oh, 
That does have red. Yeah, there is. There is. I think there is a flashback one that. Uh, well, maybe not flashback. Oh, here's a cool one. Una's Grace. So it's just three mana draw a card instant, but it has retrace. So if you could just discard a card to uh, to cast it, you'll know, discard a land card, and uh, you get to cast it and draw two cards. Um, For three. Maybe. I mean, I guess, maybe I guess should... it's the same as Think Twice, so. Except that it doesn't exile itself, so you keep doing it. Um, what about um? Oh, cause it's got retrace. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's retrace. What about uh? What about like the extra the stuff that lets us draw extra cards? Like so. Oh uh, yeah. To uh, to fairies ages and say. Mm-hmm. And then the uh. Oh. And the uh owl. Very cheap now, but our talismans the talisman in this color has to be twenty dollars, and so does the pain land. Yeah, we're allowed to have a five dollar one of the most broken cards in the format, but our talisman, our mana rock, twenty dollars. It's only because they haven't reprinted it. I know. So stupid. It is very stupid. Oh, uh. Actually, uh, no. Hmm. I know that this is kind of whatever, but if it's going down the route of like a for fun deck, then Maelstrom Colossus is fine. Oh, time wipe. Do we do we put time wipe? Mm -mm. That's the big kaboom of all creatures except for one. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, and dusk and dawn. That was kind of nifty. Cause it's like the the big the big board wipes in a deck like this, because we're kind of just really playing around like our kind of one creature. What about memory? Uh... Memory deluge. No, the memory is it? La no, not. What's the one that has the? Is it memory lapse? I might be thinking of the right card. No. What's the? It flashbacks and you wheel, and it bounces a spell. You flashback. And you, oh, you, commit, yeah. commit to memory? Yeah, commit to memory. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, we get to run Farewell, that new one. Oh, yeah, Farewell's good, yes. Yo, that's been dominating standard, I saw. Mm -hmm. Decks just play board wipe dot deck and then, like, Esper board it's, wipes. It's, it's not fun, yeah. I, 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 I watch a lot of standard randomly because that's mostly, like, what the magic content is, is people play Arena. Yeah, so, uh, cover go blue. Let's go. Nah, I don't like that one. I was looking at stuff like Oracle's Vaults, that weird artifact that exiles something from the top, and then you could, uh, once it gets a it gets a brick counter, and once it has three, the exiling off the top, you get cast it for free. Do we want to? I think play, it was just do okay. Do we want to play Brawl or? Well, we're gonna play Hall of Helium. Do you want to play Brawl, like the Chief of Compliance? Yeah, we can do that. And what about like Primal Amulet or like Jace's oh, Sanctum? Uh, uh, I like Sanctum just because it helps us set up our top of our deck. And then, oh, what was the card I was just thinking of? We could play. Do you want to play like any of the other payoffs, like Dika or like Mystic? Uh, what's the one that makes oh, uh, servos. And you can get spells back from your graveyard to your hand. The uh, Metal Metallurgic Summoning. Yeah. I was thinking of just for uh, like for uh, protection, uh, the uh, Aether, Aether Spout. I think it is. That's the one that puts it to the top or bottom of the deck. The really annoying one. Got 
got a lot of board wipes. We kind of, I think it's like a thing. We're just kind of protect the the bird as best we can. Oh, spell twine. That could be kind of interesting in this. Because you have to cast them and cast them without paying their mana costs. And it's from Exile. Oh, uh, the Blue Primordial. That's another casting a bunch of stuff from Not Your Hand. So there's random cards with Rebound, which I'm not sure as much about Rebound, because... Because a lot of them are just like maybe protection or blank. Like a and they're so Yeah, and you're just kind of doing it to. And you only get to uh, draw the second time. So. Mm -hmm. I'll probably should play the white primordial. Because I think the white primordial is just sorts of plowshare on more than one target. So what else do you think we should run? Mm. Oh, uh, giant, that's another thing for a giant kill, a giant killer, because the adventure is also uh, another one of those things, and uh, and do we do we have just swords of plowshare? We should probably like go through the. The counter spell package if you haven't done it yet. Nope. Keen denial. Yo, look at well, look at our boy. Do you see that? How oh. much uh it's it's almost five bucks now for um Sublime Epiphany, yeah. Yeah. I know. It's going I mean, up. We called it. I mean... I got like 12 copies of it. <laughs> Don't worry, Tom. Uh, it's it. because be there's, a, there's a... There's a... There's a... Uh, there's a deck that people are playing with Hinata and Sublime Epiphany where it only costs two mit. Yep. Remember when we did that when we built the Hinata deck? Mm -hmm. Uh... Generous game? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Mirror Hall Mimic. So it ETBs as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. And it's Disturb as it comes out enchanting a creature and you get a copy of it at your upkeep. It's kind of nifty. Uh, okay, so... Soaring... Oh, that's that's annoying, but probably pretty good. Uh, m mind dilation, or mind's dilation. Oh, the storm one. No, no. Uh, that's oh, the one that cast. The one that cast. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever a point casts a spell. Yeah. We could play that storm card. What's the storm card called? Mind's desire. It is cards off the top. Up at the very top. I don't see why not. Because yeah, true. even just casting it, I mean, that is just like a one-time just draw a card. And if we can play one other thing, like, that, that's that's pretty okay. Oh, that's an expensive enchantment. That's really cool. Instant sorcery spells you control have rebound. Ew. It's a Wait seven a drop enchantment. Wait a minute. Isn't there... There's a creature... Is it Tygum? Hold on. Makes the instant of sorceries can't be countered. And dragons. What? What? Is, how do you? It's the Ojatai Master. But he also has another effect. Oh, if it attack this turn, it gains rebound. Mm -hmm. That seems good. It's not bad. 
Also, uh, Narset Transcendent. She's the thing that gets your next insert sorcery rebound. Cool. That, sound, that sounds actually good in this. Uh, okay, so I was on the mana rocks. Hold on. Uh, which one it's is progress. it? Progress. Progress. We also have the Suspend 3 Mox Tantalite, but I don't like that one as much. It takes a little yeah. time to get going. Yeah, I don't like that one. At least the other one makes 2 mana. And it's like Sky Diamond, Marble Diamond. It's unfortunate that uh that the talisman and the land is why is that it needs a reprint real bad. Mm -hmm. Well, we have kind of a lot of new blue white lands though. I think it's the trade off is we have a lot of like like other dual lands. <sighs> Excuse me, Ma. Oh, uh, the Felwar Stone, not Felwar Stone, but Felwar Stone would. Uh, Wayfarer's Bobble. Uh, Hallowed Fountain, Deserted Beach. Hey, you remembered that one. Yes. Uh, and then it's, uh, Mystic Key. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sea of Clouds. And it's Command Tower. Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, what's the pathway called? Uh, Hen Henge Gate Pathway. Ooh, holy shit! It's expensive. Yeah, that one's that one's randomly up there. They're still standard legal, and I think because of how big Esper is. Yeah, you know what I think about it is that most standard right now, it's running. Pathways and basics, because that's all they really have for mm -hmm. duels, good duels. No, or like the Innistrad. They have the Innistrad. You're the Innistrad ones, yeah. Oh well, now yeah. they're they're running game lands. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them like using the game lands. Is there anyone I missed that we should use? Uh, on doing version. That's a land. Oh yeah, on doing. And uh, Seagate Restoration. Destroy all non-land permanents. Let's go. Salendi Vision. Oh yeah, I like Visions because we have a lot. Oh, uh, Myriad Landscape? Question I got, mark. I got that. Okay. Uh, Reliquary. I got. Yeah, Reliquary. we got Attacar Waste. And you said we got, got Mystic Academy. Gate. I got Hall of Heliods. Um, then I think we just do basics from here. Unless you want to run Prairie Stream. That's the, uh, the Tango. I think you only run that if you play Fetch Lands. I I'm not a huge... Now that we have the Innistrad Lands, we, like, double don't need the Tangos. Oh, this might actually be a Temple deck, though, because... We oh, yeah, 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 top yeah. Deck. We can play the Temple. Enlightenment. Okay, so now... 16 plus 3 MDFCs... So it's, it's nineteen. All blue. Did I, did I not put the planes in? Oh, it's no, right. it's right. It's right there. Yeah, Just it's because the artwork. It makes it look like it's part of the card. Uh, 
12 and 7 seems good. Well, no, actually. 8 and 11. Okay. Six, Not bad. Six, six cards. cards uh, we know that this card's actually going to be good now that we look at the list afterwards. Mm -hmm. Uh, this seems good, even though it's only instant, right? Oh no, 20, almost 20 of our no, cards. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And you could do dumb shit with Sublime Epiphany with it. Uh, Reality Chip, this seems good. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, we can cut this off. Uh... Snappy Boy's good. That draws a card. This is good and draws a card. This draws. This is, uh, is this too much? Yeah, that could go. Uh. It's all sick. So, I think Think Twice is better than this card. Or no, 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 it has Retrace. That's true. Uh, so we could keep doing it if we have three mana and nothing to do at the end of a turn. But we do have the scar to land to do it each time. We could cut down on... We're playing a lot of board whips. Like a lot, a lot of board whips. Mm-hmm. Doomscar is the one that kind of it does hit oh, us. We didn't even we didn't even do cleansing Nova, if we wanted to do that. But would you say Doomscar? Would you say? Yeah, because I know we get the draw card, but it's out of all the board wipes, it's the one that does hit us. Because all the other ones kind of dodge it. This Dusk one. sometimes doesn't get there. And at farewell, we could not hit creatures if we don't need to. But our commander is also really cheap. It's a three drop. But then again, it's a guaranteed destroy, and, and Dusk doesn't hit like if, if uh, a bunch of small tokens. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big into Dusk because you're probably not even going to use the aftermath half the time. I'd rather just do this. Uh, read Spectral Deluge. I forgot if how it's worded. X is the number of islands you control. So it's only as good as the amount of islands. So it does kind of miss big things if big things hit the board, and those are usually things we want to remove. Yeah, but three mana, just your opponent's stuff, and draw mm -hmm. a card. Maybe it is just worth it. Just It's just early game board wipe. Is it worth think of it as a three mana draw a card? And even though mm -hmm. this might be a little hard to set up, I feel like it might be worth it. I mean, late game, if we have a lot of mana, like we do draw a card, draw a card, Mind's Desire, hit three cards, draw three more. Seems like it's... This seems nuts. I like this, too. I like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, this card's cracked. These both seem really strong. Uh, I like think twice. How many do we have to cut? Three. Uh, Maybe monk class. It's cute, but uh, I do like that level three just for its exiling effect. But you can only cast it if you play another spell this turn. Yeah, that's a little hard. Maybe if it was like a cantrip version of the deck, then I'd be yeah. But we're playing more just like value stuff. Okay, so how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight counter spells in there. Do we cut Dovin's Veto or Counterspell? I'd cut Dovin's over Counterspell. I, don't I know. love Dovin's. I've, I've been, I've been, I'm not going to lie to you. I can actually name 
in the past month the times that Dovin's veto has saved me because they can't counter my counter. Not true. Like, I, I recently were like, okay, cut the Dovin's veto because it's not, like, you know, everything. But it being uncounterable means that much because when you're the one interacting, it's a, it's, there's literally nothing you can do about it. Actually, okay, maybe I can agree because we do run a lot of board wipes creature wise. So I think cutting this. Because God, the, I feel so. But because the saw it coming is more is better with the deck, and then arcane denial still draws us a card, and, and it's and it's less mana, yeah. So it's easier to cast. I mean, so yeah, it might, it's so weird, but yeah, I think counterspell's got to go because I like this better. This this is more flavorful with the deck, and and like I said, saw it coming and sublime epiphanies nuts. And so. I guess and if we don't hit anything with the cascade that we don't like, we just like we also push have the bottom. this. And this works with the deck as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because if you want to do the aftermath, I mean, it's it's weird how it would work because I think you would cast it and his trigger would go on the stack and you would lose yeah. the card anyway. But it's still just a good, like, removal spell and it does kind of set up, like... It does also fill your, your hand and your graveyard back up. Like, if, you're, if we have, like, one card... I'm good. I guess, but, like, I guess we don't need it if it doesn't work well with the commander. I mean, we have, like, Generous Gift, Heliod's Intervention, Path, and Swords. And a bunch of board wipes. It's more sort of, like, for the spell removal, but I guess it we have enough where it matters. Yeah, because, again, it doesn't work well with the commander, because I just thought that, like, you know, you're going to draw, and then you're going to wheel it away and draw a new hand, so it doesn't actually work well. So All right, I think and... Is that it? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Owl City. This seems fine. Three lands and a ramp.